It has been the privilege of my life to serve as leader of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party these past nearly eight years. This has been a remarkable time in politics, and I will always be thankful for the opportunity to have a front seat as Scottish political history was being made. I am so proud of the teams that we have built as a party at Holyrood, at Westminster, and in council chambers across the country. But for me, electoral successes, while undoubtedly important, pale in significance compared to the vital role that our party undertook as part of the campaign to keep Scotland in the United Kingdom at the independence referendum. It is therefore with a heavy heart that this morning I wrote to the chairman of the Scottish Conservative Party to tender my resignation. I explained the changes, both professional and personal, that have prompted this decision. You all know, and I have never sought to hide, the conflict that I have felt over Brexit. There has been a lot that has been written about my relationship with the Prime Minister. Um, I went out to Downing Street to meet him last week in a private meeting. Uh, I stared him right in the eye. I, I asked him outright, look, I need to know, are you actually trying to get a deal or not? Uh, and he categorically assured me that he was. He believes that his efforts in Biarritz um, has helped open the door a crack. I know that what would help further would be for people who want to avoid no deal to come out and say that if a deal's brought back to Parliament, that they would back it at this term in the way that they have failed to do uh, three times already. Uh, so I want him to get that deal. I believe that's what he and his government are working towards, and I support him in that effort. I stand absolutely foursquare behind the Prime Minister's attempts to bring back a deal that can pass in the House of Commons, and I ask my colleagues to pass them too. What I would say is, and what I would urge is, to colleagues who want to avoid no deal, vote for a deal. You've had three opportunities. You blew every one of them. Don't blow a fourth. 